live from our booth at the International Broadcasting Convention in Amsterdam. Every half an hour I'm going to talk to a new person in the industry and today standing next to me in our booth is Tony Gregory. Good morning. Hi How too. are you? I'm good. How are you? Yeah, good. It's good to be back in person at IBC. We're yep. happy uh, to have you in our booth. Close it's friends to, to Tinkerlist. Yes, yes. I've used Tinkerlist many times in big live productions. So uh, yeah, it's good to come and see the team. Yep. And you're also happy to have the real time interaction again at IBC? Yeah, it's really important, I think, because it's those chance conversations that you have in person that are where sometimes the new ideas or new connections. I was at a conversation at a booth yesterday. We were talking about, you know, a possible new project and they said, oh, you should speak to this person. She's here. I'll bring her yeah. in. That yeah. wouldn't have happened on a Zoom. So True. the personal contact thing is really important. Of course. So you've been a long time Tinkerlist user? I've used Tinkerlist on lots of different live shows yeah. um, in lots of different countries and uh, lots of different types of shows. I've used it on reality shows, music shows, live shows. Um, and I use it for training. I train multi-camera directors at the Fachhochschule in St. Pölten, which is an applied science university. That's in Austria. Mm -hmm. um, and the students find it really intuitive and it helps them uh, learn how to do live shows, build their own shows. Um, and I've used it. I've worked on, on shows where the team have said to me afterwards, we couldn't have made this show without Tinkerlist. Mm -hmm. And the best example was I directed 12 hours of live television in Romania three years ago. Yeah. I don't speak Romanian, but because Tinkerlist and the different columns, I could have a Romanian column and an English column. And it's because of Tinkerlist I was able to do that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, so we're living in this fast paced, changing media industry environment. Yes. How do you see the next generation of, of television makers? The next generation of television makers are going to have to work differently to the current generation. The current generation of television makers are making television with the same methods and processes that they've used for decades. Yes, we have high definition. Yes, we have cloud and hard drive. But we still have the same roles and job descriptions. There is a huge problem coming this way for the content making industry. And it's already started. Prices are going up. The cost of human beings is going up. Every input to making a production is becoming more expensive. But there's no more money for the productions. Even more expensive. Yeah. And so what, me what it means is production teams have got to get more productive. The only thing they can control is the productivity. And so we're going to have to have fewer human beings making the same or more television. Yep. We've got to become more productive. And the way we're going to do that is technology. Yep. So productivity tools such as Tinkerlist. Because, and so the new generation of program makers, they'll be doing two or three roles of the old generation. Uh, and that's where we're going. We've got no choice. That, that is where, where everything's going. Yep should focus on those new generations and those new startups or um, do you, how do you think we should divide our energy between the new generations and the and well the older it's a really interesting question I mean my experience so using Tinkerlist as an example my experience of the new generation mm -hmm. is that they take to uh, sort of cloud-based tools and productivity tools effortlessly um, I have introduced Tinkerlist to sort of the older generation of very experienced program makers people who've come from a very you know, long and distinguished BBC background, for example. And I have to say it's taken some convincing. Um, there are some of the people who've worked the, you know, the same way on paper scripts and paper running orders for 30 years, and it's taken some convincing. But when people see what new tools can do for them and they can just do more and be more ambitious, people, people become converted quite quickly. So I, I, I think the younger generation take to it okay. more quickly. Yeah. And how do you think like broadcasting will evolve? What balance between online and... Well, like, it's a good question, isn't it? And I think we'll talk less and less about how content is delivered to us because we talk about VOD, video on demand. We talk about uh, linear delivered television. We talk about fast FAST now. Um, uh, all the different delivery methods, you know, 5G is going to increase the amount of live video we're all consuming. 
And actually, from the consumer's point of view, they don't care. And they don't even think about it. It's just story. It's just content. It's something to be engaged with, to talk about, and to share. You know, I always say content's like pizza, right? Mm -hmm. You can get pizza in a restaurant. You can get it in a supermarket. You can get it in a petrol station, right? It's still pizza. Or you can get it in Italy. And <laughs> we don't talk about what delivery method, yeah. you know, for pizza. Mm -hmm. You know, you can have it at home. You can have it in a restaurant, whatever. Pizza's mm -hmm. pizza. And mm -hmm. actually, content is the same. The consumers don't care about the delivery method, and, and ultimately, it's always about storytelling. Yeah, yeah. What do you hope for for IBC now, more short term? Do you know what I hope for IBC? And what I, you know, I have to say, I'm disappointed about something at this IBC, and it's a really big thing. You know, there's a lot of new tech here. There's everything going to cloud, and so on. But we're still seeing the same faces. We're not seeing enough women. 95% of True. the people at IBC are male. Yep. Yes, there's diversity here, but not where there should be. Mm -hmm. So, you know, you're looking at Western European countries and you're looking at middle-aged white men from all these companies. Mm -hmm. This has got to change mm -hmm. until the entire industry that makes content reflects its audience. Mm -hmm. We are failing our audience. And so my big disappointment about IBC is just full of old white men. Yeah, with white like colors. Me. But do you have a yellow color? So <laughs> that's good. <laughs> but the diversity thing is something that we have to think about. We, yeah, we yeah. have to have a team making content that reflects our audience. We really have to do it. And it should start in, in, <clears throat> in motivating women to study technology. Absolutely yeah. it should. Absolutely it should. You know, look, I run a course for, for live directing as part of a bachelor degree in Austria. You know, last year, I think 35% of our students were female. But I have to tell you, 75% of our top students were female. Yeah. You know, There's so uh, there, absolutely there is, yeah. you yeah. know, and, and um, there are some amazing up and coming female camera operators, lighting directors and so on, mm -hmm. you know, and we have to change the tradition around these roles. It's, it's so important. I agree, I agree. And you had a question for me? I do have a question for yeah. you. And my question yeah. for you is, what's your favorite IBC joke? Oh, now you're putting me on the spot. I don't have IBC jokes. Oh, okay. What is an IBC <clears throat> joke? So I had uh, someone said to me yesterday, <clears throat> it's incredible, isn't it? Everything's going to the cloud this year. Absolutely everything, including the Queen. RIP Queen Elizabeth. <laughs> I didn't, I mean, that's the best one I've heard so far. So okay. I'm going to just say, I, I, that's my best. IBC I thought, you joke. know, let's, let's, uh, <laughs> let's leave let's, on a, yeah. <laughs> a lighter, perhaps, on, note. On a high, on a high note. <laughs> so thank you. Thank you. Tony, it's been fun. Thanks a lot. For hopping in our studio and enjoy IBC. Thank you.